Welcome back to The Division 2. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the fastest way you can level up for Season 2. I wouldn't normally do fast level tips, but Season 2's like rewards, the two exotics, the Vile Mask and the Mantis, are unlocking at a ridiculous level, and you can't get them until you are that tier in the pass. The Mantis being 55, the Vile being 90. So if we quickly go... If it doesn't bug out on me, we go to Seasons. Look at the rewards track. And we flick through to 55. There's the Mantis at the top. If you are playing Season 2, it's free, but you need to reach that level in order to be able to get them to drop from the standard loot pools and to obtain them for the very first time. And there's the Vile Mask, Tier 90. So the fastest way is going to be playing missions with directives. It gives you a lot of bonus XP, but it's not just as simple as that. I have some tips that will help you out and help you complete the missions a lot easier. So if I keep it on heroic, I'm just going to show like the first area of a mission just to show you what you need to do in order to make this a lot easier. So we go to global difficulty directives. We're going to put them all on all five of them. So when one skill is activated, the other is put on cooldown. Skills are what we're going to be using. So if you don't have a skill build, you're going to need to try and get your hands on one because it's going to make this a lot easier. Fog of War Revisited. It turns off your minimap and you don't get threat indicators. Hard to earn. You start with no armor kits. The only way to acquire them is to fill up your signature weapon ammo bar. Pistol Arrow. Start with no ammo. None at all. Not for your spec, not for your primary or your secondary. The only thing you'll have ammo for is your sidearm, which will stay unlimited, and kills with your sidearm will be your only ammo source. That's a little bit of a lie. It doesn't quite work as intended. Then you have special ammo. Enemy bullets may be of special types. What type depends on the enemy faction. So I'm going to confirm this. Turn on all five. That is going to reward 125% extra XP. So you will see, as soon as we spawn in, we have all five of the directives activated, and we now have no ammo. What you are going to need to do is equip the Sharpshooter Specialization, as well as a skill build, and make sure you have a rifle or a marksman rifle. Because if we go into this menu, and we go along to Sharpshooter, we inspect it. There is a talent, like a skill perk on this tree. Round after round, after 20 seconds in cover, you start generating 5 marksman and 5 rifle ammo every 10 seconds. But according to this directive, so it's, it's kind of like a cheese. I wouldn't go as far as saying it's an exploit is game breaking. Nimi nimi near. It's a cheese. The game registers that the only ammo source is to use your pistol. But you are sitting behind cover, so you'll automatically generate ammo because this talent is going to bypass that restriction. So, if we fast travel to a mission, I'm, I'm doing it again. It's so easy, and there's a few enemies in the first area. Heroic difficulty, fast travel down there. I'll explain the XP and stuff when we get there. So, you'll see... Oh, it's actually kept my spec ammo. But I have no ammo at all for my pestilence or my rifle. So what I'm going to do is start the mission. And I'm going to literally sit behind cover. And you'll see that after 20 seconds... I'm going to start generating ammo, but you don't actually need to sit there for a long time because there's another way to bypass restrictions. And that is why I said you need to be using skills. A skill build is going to help you do this. So you'll see there, look, I've got five rounds now. Every 10 seconds from now on, I'm going to generate ammo. And because you're using a skill build, you're going to be sitting behind cover a lot. So what I'm going to do, because one of the directives means that when I put out a skill, the other one goes on to cooldown. That's the good thing about a skill build. You will see, if I go into my skills, the cooldowns are 12.4 seconds and 12.4 seconds. So literally in 12 seconds, the other one is available and I can use it. I'm running three-piece hardwired for the repair skill, skill damage, and skill haste. I've also got a Murakami chest. I have a, I've actually got the named Percussive Maintenance Alp Summit Backpack. And I've got a Wyvern Wear Holster. You could possibly make this better, but it's skill tier 6, and that's all that matters, because it buffs your skills. 
You'll see my armor's not too great, neither is my health. Or the weapon damage. But what I'm going to do is place my turret. I'm going to set that to start attacking. But I'm also... Because a pistol is the only way to acquire ammo. You can't get it from anything else. So I'm going to switch over to my pistol, but I'm not going to shoot a single bullet. I'm just going to make sure that I have the pistol in my hands. Because you'll see that when I do not shoot a bullet, when an enemy dies, it's not every single enemy guaranteed, but there's an ammo drop. There's another ammo drop. My skills are doing their work. They're killing enemies as they should. They're doing a fine job of it. And you'll see, I still have no ammo for my pestilence. I'm switching back over to the pistol because there's another ammo drop. Go drone, go drone. Enemy dead. That is a sign to move on. We enter the museum. And I didn't need an armor kit. There was no threat to me going down. So you'll see, pestilence still has no ammo. But I didn't I didn't even fire a round. But look, I've got rounds now. Didn't even fire my pistol. Because as long as you have your pistol equipped, the skills getting the kill overrides the fact that like it, it makes the game think you're using the pistol. I'm gonna just grab that as junk. So make sure you equip sharpshooter. You're running a skill build so you can sit back behind cover. Sharpshooter's going to make you generate ammo just by sitting in cover. That is that simple. But then you're going to use your skills. You're going to have your pistol equipped. And without even shooting it, once your skills get the kill, it's going to count. It's going to give you ammo drops. And you'll be sorted. It's that simple. It, it takes... I'm, like, it's not... You're literally not going to load up the game and get 100 tiers for your season in the matter of 6 hours. Unless you can find some like godly cheese. Or, like, at that stage, it'd be an exploit. But looking at this on the map, how much XP do you get? Because it's 700,000 XP for a level. What a lot of people might miss out is the fact that you still get extra XP for getting kills. It's like 1,600 XP per enemy. Heroic is obviously going to increase the enemy's veterancy, so there's going to be more XP. If you're playing in a big group, there's going to be more enemies in total. But you can see there, 825k for just doing this one mission with all five directives, which is easy to bypass. And that's over an entire level. You'll probably, over the course of, I'm going to say, four runs, you might actually get, or maybe even five runs. Four runs, you might get five levels. Five runs, you might get six levels. I did them in a two-player group, and I actually got, I think it was around 20 minutes it was taking me to do each run. So... If you're doing six runs and gaining seven levels, or seven levels in two hours. That's not bad at all. So again, sharpshooter, skill build. Make sure you have a rifle or marksman rifle equipped for the ammo like generation. And have your pistol equipped to get the ammo drops from the enemies when your skills get the kills. And on that note, that's going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.